look you might see some of these big creators online and i'm not talking about me i'm talking about people who are you know further ahead i like to think that i'm you know pretty relatable and i keep these videos raw and authentic but you might see some of these big creators online and it'd be easy to forget sometimes that they were once in a similar position to you. They were once a beginner. They once didn't know what they were gonna do with their life and they were pretty unsure. And it's very hard, you know, when you just look online and you get a glimpse into someone's life where you only see like a 10% and you only see someone's highlights and their best moments. It can be very hard for you to relate to them and it can make you think that there's something wrong with you because you're not sure where you wanna go, okay? Now, if that's you, if, you feel lost right now if there's a certain uh, area of your life that you really want to change right now I guarantee you this video is gonna help okay because I'm going to talk about my story a little bit I'm going to talk about how I turn my life around okay because it certainly was not great for me at all okay and I'm going to talk about exactly what I did but then uh, I'll talk about some things that if I had my time again what I would do differently and I've boiled it down to three simple steps, okay? So you follow these three simple steps. This is how you can turn your life around and become unrecognizable. If you do these three things, you will become an absolute beast in fitness, in business, whatever it is that you wanna go after, okay? So let's dive into it. Now look, things were not always good for me, okay? I got kicked out of university, uh, you know, family were concerned about what I was going to do with my life. I was concerned about what I was going to do with my life. Uh, on top of that, I had health issues, okay? I had back pain 24-7, uh, brain fog, uh, just depression, low mood, couldn't concentrate. Uh, I was not in a good state of health at all. And it didn't make any sense because I was very active when I was younger, played a lot of football, I went to the gym, etc. And it just didn't make sense why I had lots of health issues. And this went on for years, actually. But, uh, you know, eventually it got so bad, I've taken three or four different medications, I've been in bed for a couple of weeks, and I just decided enough is enough, okay? I just decided I refuse to accept that this is my reality, and things have to change, and things are going to change right now. And there and then, I got in the shower, I got dressed, and I just went for a run around the reservoir near, uh, near my house. It's like a big lake. I would just run around the res reservoir, and there was a bit of pain, okay? But... Uh, I felt so much better afterwards and I was like okay I'm just gonna do this tomorrow so then the next day I, ran, I went for a run and the next day and the next day and what started to happen is I started to trust myself because for once I told myself I was gonna do something and then I did it okay and then I had confidence and I, had, I believed like the, the, the thoughts that I were gonna tell myself because some of you out there say, oh, I'm gonna to go to the gym, oh, I'm gonna do this thing, I'm gonna do that thing, and then you don't do it. And then what happens is you lose confidence in yourself, and then your own words to yourself don't mean anything, okay? But this was having the opposite effect for me because I was actually following through and doing what I said I was gonna do, okay? So once I'd started running every single day, I was like, okay, now I've got the running thing down, I'm gonna start going to the gym, okay? So I started going to the gym, uh, I was running, I was going to the gym and uh, I had more energy and you know then I had more like kind of like confidence and belief and then I was just like you know what if these specialists can't figure out why I've got back pain I'm just gonna figure it out myself and I went on a whole journey of like research and seeing different people and trying to figure things out and eventually it turned out I had food intolerances okay certain foods that I, that I was eating um, you know, it was really affecting uh, everything. You know, it was, I was in pain 24 seven, I couldn't concentrate, uh, you know, it was, it was affecting my whole life, okay? And when I removed those foods from my diet, well, now I had so much more energy, okay? And now I was going to the gym every single day. Now I was working out. Now I had a good routine. And then the next step, I was like, okay, I've got a good routine down. I feel like I'm, I'm you know, my health is going in the right direction. I'm feeling good. Now I need to make money because I'm also broke, right? Uh, I don't have any money. Uh, you know, I was, I was just kind of ashamed with who I was, to be honest. And I was like, I had these big goals. Like I never envisioned having a normal life. I never envisioned the nine to five Netflix at the weekend. Like that is the last thing I wanted. I always had dreams of like making money online and traveling around the world 
but I was still like living with my parents, <laughs> had no money, I didn't know what I wanted to do, okay? So I tried different things. And actually, one thing that I did do, uh, which I'll talk about in a second, is I just deleted all social media because I realized uh, I was just wasting so much time on social media. So much time mindlessly scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. So I completely deleted Instagram, uh, Facebook back then when people still used it. Uh, I still had YouTube to be honest and YouTube became my main source of like personal development. Uh, but I wasn't using it for entertainment. I was using it more to like learn and develop and uh, you know improve my mindset and stuff like that. Okay, and then I just went on, a, this is like a years of discovery of trying different uh, business opportunities, trying different careers. I eventually found software development and I knew uh, from a very, um, I knew as soon as I tried it that I would be naturally good at it, okay? So I found software development and that was kind of the vehicle which helped me, you know, make a really good living and be able to work online and then when um, when we had the whole lockdowns because of you know what I just decided I was gonna leave England and eventually I ended up moving to Bali and that's how I ended up here but for this whole time that this has been going on I've had this voice in the back of my head okay so I had this voice ever since I got into fitness and I saw how it massively improved my life I had this voice telling me you should do fitness like that's what you should do you know you should do that but i just had all these limiting beliefs okay i had all these limiting beliefs like oh uh you know it's it's saturated there's too many coaches right now uh you know <laughs> like just stupid stupid excuses okay or like you can't do this you're not good enough what makes you qualified to be able to help people with their fitness journey like just the most craziest excuses and i guarantee some of you will do this to yourself and if you were to write out your thoughts just on piece of paper you will realize how ridiculous some of them are but this went on for years and years and years and years and years until eventually i was like you know what i need to do this fitness thing because i want to give back and give people the same transformation that i had okay and now you know i'm living with purpose i love my life i work every single day i love what i do i'm here living in bali i got to live a sick lifestyle and it can be quite hard, to, uh, or maybe for you, if you're not in that situation, to ever think like, you know, uh, I was wasn't in that situation. If that makes sense, you know, you can look at people online, and it can be really hard to relate to them, or like even just understand that they once didn't have everything figured out. Okay, so that's my story. That's what I did. I've got three steps here. Okay, for what you can do uh, to turn your life around or start living with purpose okay and it's going to be a little bit different from the route that i took because if i had my time again i would do things a little bit differently and i'm going to ex explain why so step number one is to decide what you want okay so the way i like to think about life is it's a journey okay and when you set off on a journey what's the first thing that you do well, you're going to decide on the destination, okay? So if you don't decide on the destination, well, you can guarantee you're never going to go anywhere meaningful. It's like just getting on the car, getting in the car or the bike or whatever, and just driving around aimlessly uh, without any real destination. And that might be fun, and you might enjoy the scenery, and you might have a you know a good ride, but you're not going to get anywhere meaningful. So the first step is you need to decide what you want, but it's not as simple uh, as uh, you know don't listen to society what society tells you you should want listen to what you truly want okay because for years I had this idea about fitness but I told myself I need to be realistic I told myself I'm not good enough to do this uh, I, I, t I told myself you know just many reasons as to why I shouldn't do it even though deep down I knew that's what I wanted to do and for you right now guarantee you if you're not doing what you want to do there's probably a little voice in the back of your head telling you you should do this thing but you're telling yourself you're not good enough you're telling yourself you can't do it you're asking yourself what if you fail but to decide truly what you want you have to have blue sky thinking okay blue sky thinking be unrealistic don't listen to anyone your family members society anyone around you do not listen to people who tell you to be realistic. I want you to be unrealistic because if someone 
somewhere in the world has done something then that means it's possible and that means you can do it there's billionaires out there if there's billionaires out there then that means i can be a billionaire okay there's people who uh i don't know you know there's people who've got a five six percent body fat if they can do it why can't i okay so i just have this mindset now if if they can do it i can do it okay and how you can really just decide what you want is ask yourself this simple question okay if you had unlimited time and money what would you do okay if you had unlimited time and money what would you do because it's not about what opportunity you think is going to make you the most money it's not about you know what you can realistically do with the time that you have left or you know your skills or anything like that it's just how would you spend your days what would you do with your life if you had unlimited time and money okay and if i had unlimited time and money 100 percent i will be helping people especially with their fitness because i believe fitness is the gateway to success i've made a video about this before okay but fitness for me was the catalyst for me to turn in my whole life around and I know it can be for other people as well because it, it instills that confidence in them that they're able to, you know, make significant changes in their life. Okay, so step number one, decide what you want. Decide on the journey. Your life is a journey. What is the de destination? Where are you going? Step number two, minimize all distractions. Okay, now don't do what I did. And this is going to seem a little bit counterproductive, but I just deleted all social media accounts. I didn't deactivate them. <laughs> I just deleted them, cold, gone, forever. And now here I am creating content on social media, okay? So it's pretty ironic, right? So if I had my time again, I would just schedule social media usage. Uh, I would, you know, I would still use YouTube. I would still watch videos like this. So you, don't worry, you can carry on watching this video. But, uh, you know, I would just schedule some personal development time and maybe it's YouTube, maybe it's podcasts, maybe it's books, whatever your method of getting quality information into your brain, keep that. What I'm talking about is the TikTok and the reels and the short dopamine that's frying your brain. Also, video games is a big one for some people. Uh, alcohol is a big one for a lot of people you know like and now because i'm living with purpose and I, I love every single day and i work every single day by choice i don't feel the need to drink alcohol but when i was back living in england and uh you know i really hated my life i couldn't wait to the weekend to go out and get drunk and it was almost like an escape for me but if if you're doing something that you uh enjoy you're not going to feel like you need to escape from that reality okay so minimize your distractions your social media, um, your video games, whatever, you know, porn or whatever your vices are, like you will know what they are. Cut them out completely. Just cut them out because the more you fry your dopamine receptors, the harder it is for you, can, for you to be able to do the work that you need to do. And the only way for you to live a fulfilled life and the only way for you to turn your life around and the only way I turn my life around is by doing the work every single day and if you get loads of dopamine from scrolling on social media it's going to be so much harder for you to do the work but if you cut that stuff out it becomes so much easier for you to do the work okay so step number two minimize all distractions oh another point on this actually is get a good solid routine down i'm going to make uh, future videos about routine and stuff like that but go to the gym or you do you know do fighting or you know do some form of exercise every single day do something that improves your mind do something that improves your body do something that improves your health and gives you energy and do these things every single day do a little bit of personal development every single day and get a good routine down okay so you know you've decided where you want to go now you've got a good routine which is effectively like the day-to-day -day activities the only the, the last thing you need to do which is step number three is just go all in Okay, just believe in yourself because most people you know, have this voice in the back of their head that they, they should do this thing, but they'd never take action. Okay. And this was me for a very long time. And then, you know, I started to kind of like future pro project where my life would end up and how I would feel. And I thought, you know, what if one day I'm on my deathbed, I'm dying and I'm reflecting back on my life 
And what if I have regrets? What if I have regrets like, oh, I didn't do this thing because I didn't believe in myself. I didn't do this thing that I really thought I should do because I thought I couldn't do it. And I, I just, I just got scared that I was gonna die with regrets. And at that point I was like, I've just got to like, you know, life's short, okay. We're getting older every single day. We're one step closer to death. We may as well just make the most of the life that we're living. And I knew, even though I was making good money, even though I was living in Bali, even though I had like a great lifestyle and I was super happy, I wasn't doing something that I just felt like I was meant to do, okay. So go all in, okay. Don't give yourself other options because I've never seen someone give a hundred percent effort I've never seen someone go all in and fail it just doesn't happen the only time people fail is when they don't go all in when there's a plan B when there's a plan C uh, you know when they're just not sure but if you commit and say a hundred percent I am gonna make this thing happen it will happen because you don't give yourself a, a uh, any choice and all right the original idea of what you thought was going to happen and what actually ends up happening might be slightly different like you might p pivot business models or you might change certain things that's normal but you're still you're going all in and you're finding a way and you'll make a way and you make it work okay when you do that you st when you start to see progress okay because the fastest way to see progress is when you go all in on something whenever i've gone all in that's when i see the most progress and when, once i start seeing progress well then motivation is up and once you're motivated your confidence is up you get you make more progress and it's like a positive spiral which just keeps going getting bigger and bigger and bigger and you need this you need to build up the momentum because there is no straight line to success okay and i talked about this in yesterday's video but it's gonna be tough, okay? It's gonna be hard. There's gonna be days where you don't feel like it. There's gonna be days where you doubt yourself. There's gonna be days where you tell yourself, I don't need to do it today, or I don't wanna to go to the gym today, or I don't wanna do this thing, or I don't wanna make a video today, or whatever that, is, that thing is that you know, you know you're supposed to do. Look, you're gonna tell yourself, oh, I don't wanna do it. But if you understand right now that you're going all in and there's gonna be hard days and there's gonna be easy days, but no, no matter what, you're gonna go out there and get it done, then life is for the taking, like, honestly. Because now, uh, you know, I'm on my mission, okay? I have seen how fitness has transformed you know, my whole mindset, my whole life, my lifestyle, my health. Every single aspect of my life has improved with getting in, like, really good shape. And I want to I want to give that same opportunity to other people as well, regardless of where they are on their on their journey. There is no downsides to fitness, okay. And for you, it might be something else, okay. But what is your mission, okay? What is your mission? You should be asking yourself every single day, what do you want to do with your life, and just pursue it and go all in. Because if you do what you love, you'll never have to work another day in your life. All right, guys. So just. Whatever it is that you want to do, I believe in you. You can do it. You need to start believing in you, okay? As soon as you start believing in yourself, decide what you want, minimize all the distractions, go all in, and you will have an amazing life, all right? I hope that helps, guys. Uh, you can head to jamesweetland.com for coaching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.